Bonjour! It's um, French shirts this time and this is going to be hilarious because I'm going to try and pronounce each of these teams with French accent or at least try and do it how French would pronounce it and I have absolutely zero confidence in that and my ability so um, keep your eyes open for that or your ears should I say um, so I've got about 20 shirts to go through so I'll try and be as quick as I can I've got some really nice shirts in here actually this is uh, maybe my best collection of shirts in my country so um, see if you notice anything that you like um, that's kind of it, it's a beautiful day so let's get it uh, get this video out of the way and I cannot go outside so we have the uh, Angers Sporting Club de l'Est the Lou Est home shirt from this is hmm, 1617 I think and to be honest it's not the best one to start with. It's Kappa, so it's kind of hit and miss. It's the elasticated sort of stretchy material as you expect. The sponsor is ingrained into the material. The logo is embroidered on, so it's quite nice. And it's got a weird, you might not be able to see, but in the sort of collar, there's like a gold effect sort of motif, which on the back you can read. It kind of looks a bit tacky from the front. Uh, but other than that, it's, it's a decent shirt. Uh, so now we have the uh, Valencian FC home from 2014-15 and if I remember correctly this might be my first one or at least one of my first ones that I bought for French teams. Um, I'm not usually a fan of the shirts that have everything centralised, yeah I like the logos to be over the one of the breasts and same with the manufacturer but this one it kind of works the way the arrows point down, it, it, there is a level of symmetry there that I quite appreciate. It's an Ulspart shirt We've got the Kaiserslautern one, which I showed in my German one, and that's a beautiful shirt. This one's not quite as nice, but it's um, it's quite a stretchy material also. But it was a good way to start, and I'm not too uh, dissatisfied with it. So we have this uh, Mont Montpellier HSC home 2015-16 shirt, and it looks more like a South American team with all the sponsors that are going all over the place. But it's nice, I like the gradual orange sort of sash effect across the front. Actually, I think it was last season when they released their home and away shirts, which were beautiful. A couple of those came to sale really cheap. I thought, shall I upgrade this Montpellier one um, and get one of the sort of maybe the better designed ones? I thought, mm, more people are probably going to have that, whereas this one, I've not really seen many other versions of this for sale. So I just kept it based on that. So we have this Toulouse uh, Football Club home shirt from 2018-19 and this is just a beautiful shirt, it really is. Joma, they really, really did well with this one. I bought a Toulouse shirt maybe two or three years ago and I think it was manufactured by Kappa and it was meant to come with tags but it never did. It was advertised with that but it just never did. And I couldn't be bothered sending it back so I thought, you know, I'll just wear that. And it was okay. I'm kind of glad I wore it and didn't keep it in my collection because it wasn't the best quality. Especially when you compare it to something like this. This is easily one of the best shirts I own. Beautiful purple, you've got the gold effect, which is sort of like, it's like an orange I suppose, around in the trims. You've got, you can't maybe see, but the sort of the part of the, the crest is in the material. It's just a really nice shirt. Um, so we have the FC Girondon Bordeaux. Um, away shirt from 2017-18 it's kind of crazy like luminous pink it's not often you see that colour on a shirt it's kind of horrific but also beautiful at the same time I bought this towards the end of the season in the sales I thought okay then this is a good shirt to own um, I don't own many um, Bordeaux shirts obviously I don't own any and I thought this is the best one to get and then a season later everyone started buying them because they got really cheap elsewhere and I was like god damn it everyone's gonna own one of these now but you know whatever it's it's a beautiful shirt talking of beautiful shirts we have this Red Star Football Club shirt it's the away one from this season 2019-20 and I've been needing a Red Star shirt for a very long time but it's pretty difficult to pick it up every time I went to buy one they'd be out of stock or they didn't have the shirt size that I wanted or it, for whatever reason I just because they're very difficult and they're very expensive. I thought I'm not justifying paying 
60 pounds or whatever it was to buy this shirt right now. So I got it for Christmas, just gone, and it's amazing. I mean, it's pink, which it kind of looks kind of crazy. It's got the Vice sponsorship, and the logo is just pure, just darkness. Yeah, this is a beautiful shirt. This is gonna be a classic in the next 20 years. <laughs> okay then, so one of the bigger teams, or the biggest team, Paris Saint-Germain. This is the away shirt from last season, 2018-19. And I could have gone with one of the Jordan ones, you know, they've, now they've paired up with the Jordan. Um, but I see gold and I want to buy it. So the, the Nike Crest, the logo itself, the sort of creamish colour, it's just perfect. Like it ticks all the boxes for me. If the Flymerts logo was in gold, it would be perfect. But, you know, it is what it is. I like the collar, I like how it fits, the little button. It's very, uh, it's very nice fitting. So it's about time I picked up a Paris and Demand shirt, and um, this is the one I got. Right then, so this is the Olympique de Massé away shirt from 2013-14. And you may be able to see the tag, £28, got it in sales. Picked it up from like, Sports Direct. And I have not seen this anywhere else really, so I'm really satisfied with this. It's, it's sort of the denim effect. It isn't made of denim, it's just made out of your typical polyester. But it's... Um, it's curious. I wanted to pick up the Napoli shirt that was released. I think it was either this season or following season. That Macron uh, designed. And it was again another denim effect. But I didn't, for whatever reason, didn't pick that up. Uh, so this one will do. And over the crest, I mean over the breast we see the um, the, the pocket. It uh, sort of shows a, a half an O and a half an M. Which is kind of cute. But that's a really nice shirt. Really nice shirt. Okay then, so we have this uh, Bastia shirt from 2017-2018 and this one I just had to pick up because it was really cheap. When I started collecting there was loads of Bastia shirts floating around but they were either not of my size or they just didn't have a sponsor on the front. So it took longer than maybe should have done but I bought it. It's a cap shirt that I actually quite like. It's a nice material and yeah, it was just one of those ones It was so cheap you just couldn't really say no. Okay then, so we've got this uh, Stade Rene shirt from 2011-12, so it's a bit of an older one. And other than the fact that I don't like the Puma shirt, the Puma logo being in the centre, it should be a little bit to the left or right, depending on your perspective, it's actually quite nice. And for whatever reason, when I've been looking around sort of the major cities in England, and you go into like a sports director or something, you see these Stade Rene shirts, and I'm thinking to myself, why, why have they got Stade Rene shirts, but not like Spurs shirts? I mean, not that anybody would want to buy a Spurs shirt, but I don't understand, because they're not exactly the biggest team anymore. They were for a period a long time ago. So it's kind of weird, but, you know, it is what it is. Right then, Evian Tonon Gaia. This is the away shirt from 2014-15. It's kind of crazy. I mean, I don't know what the design is meant to be. I'm looking at it, and it's just like... Shattered glass, is it? I mean, it's meant to be like a looking through a diamond, is it flowers? I don't know. But it's kind of crazy and I like it. It's got a bit of pink floating around, which is sort of a colour that's loosely associated with the team. Um, <clears throat> this team actually doesn't exist in its current format. I think it went bust maybe the season that this was released or the season afterwards. Um, I know they went through a lot of name changes in their history and eventually just got caught up with them and <clears throat> they ended up being relegated to nothing really and let's start again. So it's kind of a nice little historic piece. Right then, so this one is the uh, football club Lorient Bretagne Sud from 2011-12 shirt. Um, one of the sort of earlier Macron shirts. It's kind of a shame because I think it's a large, I prefer it to be medium but you know whatever it's not the end of the world. It's bright orange so I do like bright orange shirts. And that's kind of it. It's they released um, some shirts recently with Lorient that you could buy, and I thought mm, maybe I want to get one that's actually what size I prefer. But again, it's an older one. There's not many of these knocking around, so let's just keep hold of it. Did I pick up two? No, just one. So we have this uh, Grenoble Foot Tuan Tweet home shirt from 20... 2009, actually 2009 10. And yeah, I think again this team doesn't exist in its current in the format that is here. Me 
be a mistaken, but I think they did something where they had to start again or something again. And I've never seen another shirt from this team for sale, so I think I picked it up really cheaply as well. It wasn't much, I think it was less than £20. <laughs> so that was a good investment, because it's probably going to be worth you know, a decent amount more. On the tag it was selling for I think it was 65 euros, so, you know, that's a decent buy. The shirt's nothing special itself, but it's, it's quite a great one. <laughs> okay then, this is the Esperance Sportive Trois Urbe Champagne away 2015-16. Wow, that was a mouthful. And again, it's another Kappa one. It seems to be very popular in France. And it's quite nice actually. It's beautifully designed. We've got this sort of weird gradient thing at the front here. The sponsor's quite nice. It's all in the material of the shirt. And the sponsors sort of, and the Kappa across the shoulders is, is, is really nice. Blue and white always works. That's just how it's going to be with me. I'm always a fan of blue and white shirts. And it was really cheap, so that's another one. Okay then, so we have the AS Saint Etienne home shirt from 2014-15. And even though it's not the oldest shirt, it's only what, five years old? You don't see many of these available. Like recently the Le Coq Sportif um, shirts that they've been working with, they're quite readily available, but the older ones like this, you don't really see too many of them available, especially not in the condition this one is. So I'm kind of pleased that I have this shirt, even though um, the wheel at Adidas and the other sponsor is located, it's a bit weird, but it's, it's decent. Okay then, so we have this uh, Dijon Football Coupe d'Or Home 2016-2017 shirt, and it's when Lotto, for whatever reason, decided to start releasing these crazy designs, where you've got, I don't know what you expect to call that, just lines at the bottom, needles, like what, what, what is that meant to be? And it's really short, like it is medium, oh it says medium and I've mentioned it's medium, but as you can see the shirts are much longer, so God knows how that felt to wear. It's, I had to buy it because I think it was relatively cheap, though I did buy it from one retailer, it didn't have a tag attached, so I returned it and bought it from another retailer and it had a tag attached. I don't understand that. I don't quite understand why that would be the case. But it's a nice shirt and I've not seen it since, so pretty rare. Okay then, so we have this uh, Racing Club de Lons home 2009-2010 shirt. <coughs> the only Reebok shirt I own, which is kind of weird. It's, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of when they only have one side of a shirt sort of design, so yellow going over one shoulder. Not too great. I don't know what these vertical lines are about. They're kind of a bit tacky. So it's, as you can tell, it's not one of my favourite designs. But I picked it up because it was relatively cheap and it's relatively old. So I suppose it has some value there. Then we have this Lille home shirt from 2012-13. It was, yeah, it's quite a nice shirt. Umbro, so it's good material, good design. You've got your giant sponsor on the front, which is always weird. To be honest, the shirt that they use this season, the home shirt, is beautiful and if it was cheaper than it has been, because the all season it's been full price, if it dropped down to anything that was remarkably, reasonably valued, I would probably replace this one with it because it's a crazy design. If you can pick it up, I would advise you to do that because it's probably going to be uh, something quite sought after in the future. Then we have this other one from Lotto, which is the SC uh, Socio Montbelliard away 2015-16. The same season as the uh, Dijon one, and it's got this crazy sort of paint, drizzle, spider web sort of effect which goes over the shoulders, which is kind of cool, I guess. Um, I know they did this for like, I think it was Sturm Graz in Austria, a very similar style. And uh, was it the Stonegrass or was that the Mainzer shirt? I don't know. And again, it's it's in medium, but it's shorter than the other ones. So clearly they they followed some sort of template. Uh, but again, I've not seen this shirt anywhere else, so it's kind of kooky and rare, I guess. And then to finish, we have this uh, OGC Miss Away 2015-16 shirt. It was when they were on their sort of uprising when they had like Balotelli and stuff like that, and they started. To People start to turn their heads and they go, oh, these are actually um, performing. It's a yeah, standard template really. Bird of Spot, I think they're Middle Eastern based. Don't really see much of them. They've done a bit of stuff in the lower east England. Um, but that's kind of it. It's 
pretty standard shirt to finish with considering what we've seen. It's pretty uh, pretty plain. But that's it, that's it for my French shirts. So you can see I've got quite a lot there. There's a few more definitely to come. I haven't got any Leonid's shirts. Um, but they'll come at some point when they start releasing some nice shirts. And that's it. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. You know what to do. Subscribe and follow my Instagram, etc. We've been having some fun during lockdown. And that's it. I will do another video shortly with, I don't know what I'll do next. Maybe put a couple of countries together because we're starting to run a little bit low on the ones where we've got lots. And uh, yeah, so uh, merci, thank you, and until next time.